right now I'm looking for a house a house where someone named Bethany lives I was contacted by a family member of Bethany's she has some snakes that she wants to know how to care for them properly the problem is the snakes she has are illegal for her to have here in Georgia every state is different but here in Georgia if the snake is native to Georgia and it's non-venomous you can't just go out somewhere in your yard or wherever and catch it and decide to keep it as a pet so right now I'm going to find Bethany's house and we're going to confront her and have a little talk with Bethany I found you. Hush, Delilah. Hey, buddy. She barks a bite. All right, so tell me, so what is it, what kind of snake is this? Rough earth snake. A rough earth snake. And, uh, and what's his name? Snakey. And where did you get it? Uh, under the tree. Come over here and show me. Let's see where you got it. So this snake was living under this tree and were you looking for snakes when you found it or are you just worms to feed her toad looking for worms to feed your toad is that right yeah. all right let's get a let's get a look at him let's see he's a tiny little thing in it or she this is a she now yeah. how do you know it's a girl uh we didn't well, you know now, don't you? Yeah. How do you know now it's a girl? Because it had babies. It had babies. Can we see the babies? All right, let's go see them. Here, let me hold this. Let me hold this. <clears throat> that is a tiny little snake, isn't it? Yeah. And when I first saw it, I thought it was a worm. I mean, you know. It was hard to identify this little thing, too. All right, let's see. Oh, my goodness. They're so small. Can you take one out so we can see it? That is a tiny snake right there. That is a little tiny, tiny snake. So how many babies did this snake have? Four, one died. So she had she had four babies, one didn't make it. So we got three little baby snakes in there. Here, hold your hand open again, let's see again. Man, that is a little tiny snake. So that is a rough earth snake. Mm -hmm. And so the mom, she's not very big either. Yeah, and so the only thing these really eat are earthworms. Yes. These are really, really tiny snakes, okay? That one, we, I mean, these were just born yesterday. Yeah, yeah. All right. So, let's see the other snake you got. You got another type of snake, too, don't you? Yeah. We'll do that every once in a while. All right, so now what kind of snake is this? Black rat snake. Okay. So, here's, here's the problem that we've got, okay? Now, how old are you, Bethany? Eight. Bethany's eight years old. When I was her age, every snake I had was one that we just caught in the yard okay but the problem is here in georgia if the snake lives in georgia and it's native it's non-venomous that means it's illegal to own them as a pet you can't keep these things as a pet you can't even catch them without a license so unfortunately as much as she loves these snakes you can't legally have these in georgia so today she's gonna have to turn them loose are you okay with turning these snakes loose mm, yeah yeah are you sure about that mm. Kinda. Kinda. <laughs> okay. Well, they're going to do really good in a while. So let's get the little snakes first and let's turn them loose first, okay? I'm sure the neighbors go, like, can we turn them loose like six counties away? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you want them in your yard? No. Okay. <laughs> right, so you got, uh, now, who is this? Is this the mama snake? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to turn mama snake loose. So where do you want to put her now? When she goes underneath here, do you know why she likes this so much? No. What does she like to eat? Worms. worms. And this is a perfect place for worms because all the leaves rot and decay and the worms eat that and then she eats the worms. So that snake, just like your dad said, could live here under this tree its entire life. Okay? So find a good place and let's turn this little snake loose. Okay, whenever you're ready. Put him down. Those very out. cool, very cool. Right up. Yeah, right up in there will be good. One 
Oh, there it is. Okay, there we go. Very cool. Very cool. All right. So that's uh, how many snakes we just turned loose? Four. Four snakes. So we got one left. And what's this snake's name? Uh, ratatouille. Ratatouille. So go grab ratatouille. So, so this is a rat snake, and now this is a wild snake. So now, has this snake ever bitten you before? Just one minute ago. One minute ago? <laughs> did you cry? No. Did it hurt? No. What did it, it right do? There. Let me see. So that snake just, oh look, he's trying to bite the camera. <laughs> he is a feisty, feisty snake. <laughs> Right. He's gonna so the camera. this snake is going to do just fine being released because he has got a little bit of sass, doesn't he? My friend was holding him. He he was holding him like this with his face sword, and he uh, uh, bit his nose right here. He did. <laughs> right on the end of his nose. So this snake has bitten a few people, huh? Okay. All right, good. Well, let's go find a good spot for him. He bit that little boy on the nose. And you can take him, watch for other snakes, and let's just lay him right up here on this log. Because <laughs> he's, he's a good climber. These guys are really good climbers. That's it. Perfect. Bye bye, Mr. Ratatouille. Oh, there he is. Right there. Oh, his tail so bad. You just turned loose your pet snakes. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Uh, kind of sad. Kind of sad? Yeah. I understand that. I'd be sad too. What would make you feel better? If I had another snake. If you had another snake, I think we can take care of that, okay? Let's go up to my truck. Come on. Okay. Okay, so this shirt you've got on, Bethany, this is one of our shirts, and that's a very familiar autograph right there and so i gave you this when you were four years old is that right and now you're 14 years old eight hey same thing same thing okay so i've got you a new shirt we're going to give you and this is our southeastern reptile rescue shirt preserving nature one snake at a time okay so that's your new shirt we're going to lay it over here <laughs> for a minute there you go mom all right oh, so man. your mom contacted me and wanted to know what to feed the baby snakes that you had and i had some bad news for your mom yeah. <laughs> and you probably didn't like hearing that did i because in georgia if the snake is native to georgia and it's non-venomous you can't have it as a pet you can't even catch it you know without a license so we had to have you turn those snakes loose and the snakes will do better because those little tiny baby snakes are very hard to keep those in captivity but I just happen to have a lot of snakes <laughs> at our place and a lot of these need new homes, okay? So I've brought you a snake that you can have as a pet and keep it for many, many years to come and you can legally have it here in Georgia, okay. right? Now, one snake that a lot of people have, probably the most popular pet snake in America is the ball python. Mm -hmm. I did not bring you a ball python, okay? okay? She like let me tell you why I didn't bring you a ball python. Ball pythons don't get big. They don't they're about four foot or so, okay? But they don't get very big. big. Some pythons get really big, but ball pythons don't. And they're very popular snakes. But the problem is, is I don't consider them to be a beginner snake because you have certain temperature and humidity requirements they have to have. And I brought you a snake that's really easy to keep. And anytime you feed it, it'll always eat. It may even try to eat you, but you've been bit by snakes, so if it bites you, you'll probably be okay. This snake, this is how this is how he traveled down here in this little bag. That's him. Okay? So you wanna hold him? Hold him. So how big he is. He's about the he's fat. He's kind of a little bit bigger than the rat snake you just had. He, he's definitely a lot bigger than the earth snake you just turned loose. Alright, we want to take the rubber band off. And now, you know, Bethany, I've got all different kinds of snakes. I've got anacondas. 
I've got gaboon vipers. I have rattlesnakes, copperheads, cottonmouths. So which one of those is the, is the snake? No, this is a rattlesnake, okay? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I didn't give you a rattlesnake. All right, so you want to take them out? Open the bag and let's look in there. Oh, what? What do you think? Yeah. Is it pretty? Yeah. What color is it? Um, brown and what? Well, so go ahead and pull him out. He's actually a very friendly snake. Will he bite me? Probably. It, but it won't hurt me if it does. Ooh, Two hands support his body really <laughs> good. There you go. Huge. Can you guess what that is? Ben? No. This is a California king snake, and they're really good eaters. Now, you've been handling snakes. Guess what smell is on your hands and arms? Snake. Guess what this snake likes to eat? Mm, so guess what he could probably try to do right now? Eat my finger. He might try to eat your finger. So anytime you handle this snake, you want to make sure you wash your hands first. Now, <laughs> this is a California king snake, and in the wild, he'll kill rattlesnakes and eat them. Okay? But you don't have to go catch rattlesnakes to feed them. Uh, All you have to feed this guy are mice. So you can get mice from the pet store and you're gonna feed them about once a week. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna give you a care sheet and it tells you all you need to know about how to take care of a California king snake, okay? These guys are super easy to keep in captivity compared to the earth snakes you had, all right? And even compared to a ball python, these guys are super, super easy. Now, when you hold a snake, you're doing pretty good. We don't ever grab them behind the head. They don't like that, okay? You want to hold them with your hands open and you want to support his body. So we don't want to hold him like this because he feels like, see how he wiggles? He feels like he's going to fall. So he gets scared. But when you support his body and that way he feels like he can not fall, he feels much more comfortable that way, okay? So Will come here and you try. Around your arm? He, he, he might, but he's just trying to hold on if he does that. So he'll hold on to you. So two hands. That's not so bad, is it? No. I like it. Now you gotta think of a name for this snake. You gonna take some time and do that or do you already have one? No. I'm in Jason. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> Jason the snake. <laughs> take off. I love it. Do you like it? Yes. Very cool. Well, you take good care of the snake, Bethany, and you've, you've taken good care of these other snakes, so I think you'll do very well with this one. All right, so does that does that make releasing those snakes a little bit easier on you now? Yeah. Having this one? And since he's bigger, he covers for both of them. That's right. Yep, you got more snake now than you had when I got here. Mm. Thank you for my snake. You're very welcome. Now, that was pretty cool. Not only did we get to put some snakes back in the wild where they belong and they're actually going to do much better being in the wild and in captivity. Um, but we got to educate her a little bit about what you can do and what you can't do with snakes, at least here in Georgia. And we got to give her a really cool snake that she's going to be able to enjoy and keep and care for for many years to come. And you know, talking to Bethany, she really, really loves snakes. And I think it's going to be really cool because not only is she going to enjoy that snake, I think she's going to share it with other people and she's going to be able to teach them just how cool snakes really are. <laughs>